Hello, I'm Dr. DeVazier, your organic chemistry instructor. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the uh, first laboratory in organic chemistry. The first lab in organic chemistry involves uh, the check into your drawers. Um, so you'll have a drawer assignment um, based on your instructor's preference. Um, you will be assigned to a drawer with a partner. Um, you're going to complete some paperwork uh, as you identify the glassware and some laboratory safety features. The second part of uh, the first lab in organic chemistry is an introduction to Spartan molecular modeling software. You're going to complete an in-class assignment um, with your instructor as you navigate through the software. You will also get some uh, general introduction to the laboratory. Um, you're going to your instructor may uh, choose to go through this with you again uh, or separately and describe some alternative goals um, that he or she might uh, might have for you. Ideally, um, what you'll do in that session is uh, learn some key aspects of organic lab that will help you um, achieve a better grade in the course and um, also safe practice. The first part of uh, Organic Lab 1 is the check-in procedure. So you're going to want to um, pick up three pieces of paper, um, one check-in sheet, and you'll have two safety sheets. They're all three or yellow pieces of paper. And um, on the check-in sheet, you're going to identify some of the glassware and go ahead and check into your drawer. You'll sign that piece of paper. Um, you and your partner will both sign it because you'll be checking into the same drawer. Uh, the safety sheet will outline some basic safety instructions that are general for the organic chemistry laboratory. You're going to sign one of those and then you're going to keep one for reference. So you'll need to turn in two pieces of paper even though you get three. And both of those pieces of paper should be signed and dated. The other thing you're going to do is write down your locker combination in your laboratory notebook. Implicit in this mean it is that you have your laboratory notebook with you. So on the first day of class, uh, on the first day of lab, rather, you should have um, three items with you. Those three items should be um, a proper attire, your laboratory notebook, and your laptop computer. We'll get to the computer uh, piece in Spartan here in just a second. Um, now, the final thing you want to do is lock your drawer and proceed with the Spartan tutorial. The Spartan um, student guide will be posted um, somewhere available for you. Uh, online either in your um, angel class or on a uh, an instructor website and so what you want to do is uh, refer to that document um, for details on um, uh, mouse movements and things of that sort that may not be so intuitive ideally when you finish the um, molecular modeling uh, the Spartan laboratory uh, you'll be able to build a molecule using the standard graphical interface that Spartan provides. You'll be able to do a minimization and energy minimization um, and uh, even run higher level calculations, collect and hopefully interpret those results. You'll also be able to display some very interesting uh, surface calculations including a density potential surface uh, which basically maps out electron density on a surface of a molecule. Uh, also, um, uh, molecular orbital surfaces such as the highest occupied molecular orbital and lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. And hopefully you'll know what those mean by the end of the, uh, the session. It should take um, a couple of hours uh, for you to, to complete that assignment with your instructor. In terms of the general introduction to um, the organic laboratory, I'd like to sort of share with you some of my thoughts on um, uh, general expectations for the organic lab. So um, one of the things that the instructors, we, we try to do is we try to make this as educational and as fun for you as possible. Um, and I think it can be both extraordinarily fun and extraordinarily educational. I think you're going to really like this laboratory. Um, one thing that we've tried to address are certain practical issues of logistics that will make your life easier. Um, we've chosen some um, pretty defined areas of focus that I'll get into in here in just a second that are guided sort of by the, uh, the American Chemical Society um, areas of focus in terms of organic lab, and we've just kind of focused that a little bit more for you. 
and um, we're offering some learning support. Uh, these videos would be uh, one option, and also, of course, your instructor um, as a, another option. We also have uh, additional uh, rubrics and grading rubrics, that is, and um, uh, post-laboratory assignments that we feel are, are clearly written uh, and concise and can help you really focus on what you need to do. Um, and that sort of leads into um, the grading specifics, so we do try to make this as fair um, uh, in terms of grading, even though it's a laboratory report and a lot of folks are um, um, have some uh, maybe even bad experiences with subjective grading, uh, but we hope to make that, uh, take the guesswork out of some of that subjectivity. The um, American Chemical Society Division of Organic Chemistry has some pretty specific um, ideas uh, for laboratory skills and techniques, which they feel are very important, and that's sort of what we focus on. Um, one thing is the sort of the logic of organic experiment, what the glassware design, um, optimum equipment. And so some of these things are things that you're going to be thinking about as you go through each laboratory procedure. And these are sort of interesting uh, topics that I think a lot of schools, a lot of instructors uh, don't pay that close attention to. I know, in, for example, in my education, there was no discussion of the logic of glassware design. Um, and, and I often wondered, why on earth is this happening? So we, we hope to um, um, have these discussions be rich and meaningful and not leave you um, walking out of the organic lab wondering um, why you did some of the things you did. We hope that you understand why. Um, you're doing the experiments that you're you're carrying out. Um, we want to we want you to do a variety of organic reactions. So um, in order to accomplish this, it's critical that um, you bear with us a little bit on um, the understanding of those mechanisms. Some of those mechanisms are extraordinarily complex, and they are uh, chemical reactions that we may not necessarily get to um, in the ten weeks that we'll be in lecture together. So if you'll kind of bear with us there, you'll get to see a lot of cool chemistry, a lot of modern, a lot of interesting chemistry, um, even though some of it may be beyond the scope of the lecture class. It's really critical and transferable that you keep an accurate laboratory notebook. Um, so your lab notebook is going to be your source of protocol while in the organic lab, and that will really force you to, um, to do a really good job of, of keeping up with your, with your records. Um, you'll be monitoring the progress of a reaction um, either visually or through other means. Um, that's more in uh, 252 that we, we do that. Um, there's going to be a lot of isolation and purification methods that you'll learn and um, spectroscopy. Uh, you'll also be um, analyzing some data um, in the second uh, quarter um, using some uh, analysis. Now. Um, you will learn right off the bat, uh, of course, the Spartan computational model. You will learn the value of those uh, computational methods and some of the limitation therein. So these are some of the key aspects of what the American Chemical Society Division of Organic Chemistry uh, feel very strongly, and we have um, uh, captured each one of these in the sequence. In terms of your own focus and your own um, uh, general outlook as you go into the organic lab, what you want to do is you want to really focus yourself on safe and proper technique. Um, what is it that I'm doing? Why am I doing it? Is this the right thing to do? And then you also want to think about some of the reactions that you're doing um, and learn some of the principles of reaction chemistry and the experimental nature of the science that you're doing. So one example of that might be um, for example, just asking, you know, why would I use an Erlenmeyer flask instead of a beaker in this example? You know, why is it that I'm, you know, even in an, an analytical lab, you could think of the same thing. So these are very transferable laboratory skills that you'll gain in organic chemistry um, that, that you can transfer to other labs, your chemical engineering laboratories, your uh, other chemical laboratories, your biology laboratories, uh, physics labs, right? So think, ask questions. Um, don't be afraid to do that. Why on earth are there so many pieces of glassware when I check in? Um, what are the, all these things do? And so you have to be patient because sometimes it helps to, to, sh to be shown how those can be used in alternative settings. But uh, certainly a discussion of the logic behind those uh, glasswares is really important. So in terms of the uh, 
actual logistics of the lab, um, there will be a, a couple of expectations on your end to get all of this accomplished. One thing uh, that's key is pre-lab preparation. So we will have a suite of instructional technique videos that you'll find um, located on the PDF document, and that should support your learning. Now, you should not have to watch every single one of those technique videos this quarter. Um, that is a collection for 251 and 252. So be sure to pay attention um, with each week um, in terms of the assignment and watch those videos as they um, as, as you need to a week in advance to uh, be prepared for lab. They're relatively short um, and it shouldn't take a whole lot of time and you're going to feel much more prepared and engaged when you get to lab. And I think the, the instructional experience will be much more meaningful for you. We also have pre-lab videos. This is one of them. And uh, the idea is that you get familiarized with the absolute nature, not just the general technique, but the um, logistics and practical considerations of the lab. So these are, um, are really important for you to be successful. In terms of the grading breakdown, you're going to have uh, pre-lab quizzes that you'll be taking um, just as an incentive uh, to uh, really focus and pay attention to the videos um, that we've assigned. You're going to have graded lab notebooks, which is going to be basically, it's not going to be something that you turn in or you're not going to turn in your lab reports as your notebook, so that, that gets kind of cumbersome. So instead, what we're going to do is have you photocopy your notebook pages and attach them as an appendix in your laboratory report. Um, so it will be graded. It will be a portion of your graded post-lab assignment, um, which is actually going to be your lab notebook. Now, this is somewhat controversial in the fact that um, there are a lot of companies, a lot of industries that... Uh, do not allow photocopying of laboratory notebook materials. So just realize that that's um, uh, a, a potential point of, of controversy, um, but as long as you understand that that's not completely transferable, um, then I think there's, there's no trouble there. You're going to have graded lab reports, of course, um, and those will be um, uh, posted. You will have the post-lab assignment and the grading rubric uh, before you turn those in. And then you're going to have, finally, and this is a, um, a relatively new experience for us, um, we've done this uh, a year now, and that's the graded laboratory practicum. And this focuses really on uh, your technique and understanding of the um, methods that you've been using throughout the lab. That's also going to be posted. You'll know exactly what you need to demonstrate before you come into lab. You're going to have your laboratory notebook with you. Um, and, in fact, the students really positively uh, responded to the practicum last year. It's its own lab. Um, it's during the ninth and 10th week of class, and so some students will go ninth week and some 10th, so uh, you get an, an additional break on, um, uh, on the actual lab time as well. So that's kind of a, a cool perk. So the graded pre-lab quizzes um, will be available online. You need to complete those before you attend lab. Um, gonna, they're going to be based on some reading material that you're going to need to transfer to your laboratory notebook and the technique videos um, and pre-lab videos. You're going to have graded lab notebooks as an appendix in your laboratory report, um, but also your lab notebook is your only source of protocol where you're in lab, so you do not bring your laboratory manual to lab, um, which is nice because then you can um, obviously sell it back. It'll be in mint condition, uh, but also, the, um, um, it helps you to be really fully prepared for lab. And the reports, of course, um, it, are uh, the standard for laboratory assessment. Um, we will show you exactly what you need to have in those reports and the rubrics that is the, the standard for those reports. And then, then finally, the practicum, um, because technique is such an essential part of organic lab and of all labs, um, part of your grade is going to be on your learned technique. Um, so this will be the last two weeks of lab and those will be basic lab techniques that were emphasized throughout the sessions. Well thank you so much for your attention. Um, I hope that you're really excited about organic chemistry. These are just some of the interesting molecules that um, uh, that are involved in organic chemistry. So you see um, some RNA templates, polypeptides that you might not have ever thought um, would you would see um, in that configuration. So these are some surprisingly uh, cool molecules. Um, even the architecture of them is uh, amazing in a lot of cases. 
Um, but some, like your polypeptides, are, um, are kind of weird and, and floppy, even your uh, polyaromatics. So um, I hope that you're excited about Organic Chemistry Lab. I know that we are, um, and we're looking forward to a great 10 weeks with you. If you have any questions, please email your professor. Thank you for your attention, and have a great, great quarter.